Good day guys. Today we're going to solve this problem using parallelogram law. Let's read the problem. Force F acts on the frame such that its components acting along member AB is 650 pounds directed from B towards A. Now guys, direction is always important. So we must be very careful in plotting the direction of our forces guys. So it states right here guys that one of the components is directed from B towards A. So its direction guys is from B to A. So that is one of our forces. And that is 650 pounds. Our force BA. So next. And the components acting along member BC is 500 pounds. Directed from B towards C. So from our B towards our C. That is our number 2 components which is 500 pounds. That is our force BC. Next guys, determine the magnitude of F and its direction theta. Set phi is equals to 60 degrees. So our phi guys which is right here, that is 60 degrees. So in this problem guys, what we need to find is the magnitude of our force and the value of our theta. Now let's remember guys that our force F has its own two components. So that will make our F as our resultant force. Let us first plot the forces on our X and Y axis. So where should we plot our X and Y axis guys on these forces? So it is very simple. From the beginning of our forces guys, it is connected on one point, which is our point B. So this will make guys as our intersection on our X and Y axis. So if we will draw our x and y axis guys, it will be on this direction. So this is our y axis. And, and this is our x axis. So let's plot the forces guys on our x and y axis. So this is now our forces guys on our x and y axis. Now let's determine guys the angles around our forces. So let's go back to our problem. Now guys if you try to look at the line of our BA and the line of our x axis guys if we will add one more horizontal line which is on this side guys it will make our line BA guys as a transversal line intersecting two parallel lines which is this horizontal line and this one so we can apply guys the properties of a transversal line so alternate interior angles are equal so the angle on this one and the angle on this one guys is equal so if our phi right here is 60 degrees then our angle right here is also 60 degrees and also guys on this one if our angle right here is 45 degrees, then it is an alternate interior angle of this angle. So this is also 45 degrees. Now let's go back to our drawing guys. So on this side, right here, this is 60 degrees. And this one is 45 degrees. So that is how we can determine the angles guys. And also guys, by looking at our x-axis which is this black line that is a straight line so the sum of its angle which is right here which is right here guys the sum of that angle is equals to 180 degrees because there is a supplementary angle so in order to find the angle right here guys let's just subtract the 60 and 45 from 180 so let's name this angle right here as our angle z so in determining the angle Z guys, let's just subtract 180 minus 60 minus 45. So our angle Z guys is equals to 75 degrees. So remember guys that the angle right here is 75 degrees. So now guys if you can see, I did not plot yet the uh, force F or our resultant force which is this one guys on our x and y axis the reason for that is because 
we will be solving this one using parallelogram law. And we cannot plot yet our resultant force before we can make our parallelogram. So let's make our parallelogram, guys. So from the tip of our force BC, let's draw a parallel line of the force BA. So this one. So since this is parallel to our force BA, then this must also be 650 pounds. And from the tip of our force BA, let's draw a parallel line of the force BC. So this is also 500 pounds. Now that we already have our parallelogram, guys, we can now draw the resultant force. So from the beginning of our forces down to the tip of our parallel lines. And that is where our F. The line F, guys, divided our parallelogram into two congruent triangles. This one and this one. And we can actually use that triangles, guys, in solving the missing piece. Because we can apply the law of sine or the law of cosine. And before we can do that, guys, we need first at least one angle of our triangle. Remember, guys, that our angle Z, which is right here, is 75 degrees. And in a parallelogram, opposite angles are equal. So this is opposite of our angle Z. And this is also 75 degrees. The sum of the interior angle of a parallelogram, guys, is 360 degrees. And we already have two values, which is on this one and this one. That is 75 and 75. So let's just subtract that on our 360 degrees. So let's name this angle right here, guys, as our angle U. So in getting the value of our angle U, guys, let's just subtract the 275 on our 360 degrees. And let's divide it by 2. Since opposite angles are equal so this is opposite to our angle u and this is also angle u they have the same values so our angle u is equals to 105 degrees so we now have one angle of our triangle guys now we can apply the law of sine or the law of cosine but before that guys let us plot our theta on our x and y axis so let's go back guys where is our theta? So our theta is from the force BA goes to the resultant force. That is where the angle theta is. So from the force BA, which is this line, goes to the resultant force. So this is our theta right here. That is our theta. And if you can observe, guys, on our x and y axis, the direction of our f, guys, is not the same on the direction of our illustration F right here. So this is downward left guys and this is downward to the right. And that shows how important it is guys to plot our forces on our x and y axis so that we can really see the direction of our forces. So now guys, in choosing for the triangle guys, let's choose this one. Because on this side, we have the theta and the force F, which is what we needed to find. So let's draw this triangle again. So this is the copy of that triangle, guys. So let's copy the values. This is our theta. This side right here is 650 pounds. This side right here is our F, or our resultant force. And this side right here, which is this one, that is our force BC that is 500 pounds and also guys this is our angle U which is already 105 degrees now guys in solving the magnitude of our force or resultant force we can apply the law of cosine because we have two sides and one angle so F squared is equals to 650 squared plus 500 squared minus 2 650 multiplied by 500 cosine 105 degrees so let's square root both side guys to cancel the squared of our resultant force or our force F so force F is equals to 
916.9146 pounds and that is how we can get guys the magnitude of our force f now guys let us get the value of our theta which is right here now in solving that one guys since we already have many values of our triangle we can now use the law of sine which is easier guys so sine theta over its opposite side that is 500 pounds is equals to sine 105 over its opposite side that is the magnitude of f that is 916.9146 so our theta is equals to arc sine 500 times sine 105 over 916.9146 there is a point right here guys so the value of our theta guys is equals to 31.7845 degrees and that is how we can get the value of our theta